When you see the title of my message this morning, the highest standard of the holiness of priesthood. I believe some of you will feel strange. That this message should only be uh, told to those reverends and pastors. But why is it that you need to speak to us ordinary or common Christians? In fact, the Bible told us whether it is in the Old or the New Testament in the Bible. Every believers are considered as priests. Okay. Evidently, every believer are priests in inherent truth in the Bible. Because God told Moses in Exodus chapter 19 verses 5 to 6. Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of the nations you will be my treasured possession, although the whole earth is mine. You will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. At the same time, 1 Peter 2 verse 9 also said, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Uh, Saint Augustine said, all the members who belong to the body of Christ has the position of a priest. Because Christ is the high priest and the source of priesthood. Since the church is the body of Christ. Therefore, every Christian believers in church that has undergone baptism. Have already received priesthood, as well as the honor and service of a priest. Even though believers are all priests, but they are distinguished between ordinary priests and ordained priests. Who are those or ordained priests? There are those who are specially called by God to spread His message and perform sacraments. In the Old Testament, God on one hand let the Israelites enjoy the position of priesthood. But on the other hand, God specially chose Aaron from the tribe of the Levite to become the high priest. The rest of the tribe of Levi to become the ordained priest and establish this system of ordination. Even though in the Old Testament, that the position of the ordained priests were only exclusive to Aaron and his descendants. But in the New Testament, 
The position of priesthood is no longer exclusive for just one family. But also for the thousands of believers. Just like what Revelation chapter 5 verses 9 to 10 said. In and they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. The priesthood in the New Testament is just like what Paul said in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 to 12. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers. To equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Evidently, the believers in the church are not all reverends or pastors. Therefore, we must be very clear in differentiating between ordinary priests and ordained priests. This kind of distinguishing is not based on identity, but rather based on the status, on the aspect of identity. Ordained priests and believers need to be justified by faith. It is to be God's children and have the life of Christ. And on the aspect of status. The ordained priests are specially chosen by God and ordained by the church. They are particular in preaching the messages of God and to take the responsibility of the ministry of the sacraments. In the 16th century, during the period of the religious reform, the reason why Martin Luther had again brought up the matter regarding the priesthood of Christians. Was because the church had neglected, neglected the inherent truth that believers are also priests. They misunderstood that only the works of the ordained priest are considered spiritual. And the works of ordinary believers are but secular. Therefore, ordinary believers were unable to come near God. They couldn't confess directly to God. Only through the ordained people to be their mediator and represent them in doing these things. As a result, he created corruption inside the church. Martin Luther also emphasized the difference between the works of Christians. Because God's calling are not the same. They are no spiritual or secular existence. 
uh, could get or any differences in being mobile or lonely. Kaya kaya lang si Suwang siya ang kaya. Everyone is serving God. So I'm going to take it up to ng kaya 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 kong job kaya may PSC na si Suwang. Pero kaya 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 ang kaya siya ang kaya kaya kong job. Therefore, every Christian must be fervent in their work in serving and work for the glory of God. Si si ko ang island na si Suwang. Right now, I want us to ponder. Kami si 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 ko yung ikip kaya kong job. What is the position and words of a priest? Is it seen to offer this here to Kui? Kap Kong Chok, Wan Chuan Chow Kyo, Wa Che Si Chu Ya Soi, Fan Sin. In fact, the position and work of believers as priests are completely according to the style of the highest priest, our Lord Jesus Christ. He can also go to take out the teacher that I know in Hebrews chapter 5 verses 4 to 6. Verses 1 to 4 said, When we did, God tells us to that God to see, to hong hai tui lang pan yi chok yong pei lai ti. In the very end, to name me, tap chok zi ti. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed on behalf of men in things pertaining to God in order to offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. In the very end, to name me, tap chok zi ti. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed on behalf of men in things pertaining to God he can deal gently with the ignorant and misguided since he himself also is beset with weakness. And no one takes the honor to himself but receives it when he is called by God, even as Aaron was. And no one takes the honor to himself but receives it when he's called by God, even as Aaron was. The author of Hebrews very clearly explained to us in this passage that the position of a priest is not established by men. But rather is appointed is appointed by God from among the people that He has chosen. His purpose was to send them and represent man to do these things that belongs to God. In other words, the priest is set apart holy by God to serve him. Their responsibility is to become the mediator. And that is to do God's work in the presence of man. And to do man's work in God's presence. The most important responsibility of a priest is to represent those sinners who have wrongdoings. And offer gifts and sacrificial atonements in God's presence. To continuously pray for them and share the gospel to them. And bring them before God. And open a way for them to restore the relationship between them and God. The priest also must deal with the misguided and the ignorant. Because he himself has experienced the same weaknesses. In fact, the sin of ignorance and the intentional sin are not the same. Because the law doesn't prepare a way for those who intentionally sin. But it was rather prepared for a way for those who haven't, who even though have gone astray, but haven't hardened their hearts and rebel against God. Since the priest is the representative that was personally chosen by God. Therefore, the demands of the priesthood, of course, 
be much higher than those ordinary persons. Just like in Luke chapter 12 verse 48, he said, from, from everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded, and from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. What actually does God demand from us, from the priest? It is to demand that, that they must be holy. Because God Himself is holy. Therefore, He wants those who come near Him and serving Him must also be holy. Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 to 3. We can see that Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took their respective fire pans and after putting fire in them, placed incense on it and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. And fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, It is what the Lord spoke, saying, By those who come near me, I will be treated as holy. And before all the people, I will be honored. So Aaron therefore kept silent. Evidently, on the work of a priest in serving God, they must always maintain holiness and alertness and should absolutely not do things carelessly. No wonder that is the reason why God ordered the priest not to drink any wine when entering the tabernacle. Leviticus chapter 10 verses 8 to 10 said, then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons are not to drink wine or other fermented drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting, or you will die. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. So that you can distinguish between the holy and the common, between the unclean and the clean. Through the demand of God from the priest, we can see the holy characteristics of God. At the same time, we can see God's mercy. Aaron initially was not a holy person. After the Israelites had left Egypt, he even made a golden calf and led the people to worship this idol. But God was still willing to use him and this was entirely because of the mercy of God. God wants all priests to absolutely be holier than others. No wonder his demand from them is very, very strict. Therefore, in Leviticus chapter 21, he laid down the rules of holiness for the priests. First, the priests in their daily lives must absolutely not follow the customs and traditions 
the people of the world. The Xiong Boqi Xiong get Wei Zui Tian Wu Tian Diao Wu Wei. And must absolutely maintain holiness and must not be stained. Do you have any good job to do? Maybe you can do any job you want. In Wei Zui, we don't need them. Aside from his their own parents, children, and siblings. They could not touch any other dead bodies. The reason why God forbade them to touch dead bodies. Was because death was the punishment of sin. Therefore, being in contact with the dead is like being contaminated by sin. They also should absolutely not shake their heads or cut the edges of their beards or cut their bodies. Because shaving their heads, cutting the edges of their beards, and cutting their bodies are all pagan funeral rituals. And their purpose was to mourn the dead and gain the delight of the idols that they worship. This kind of damaging the perfect body is a gesture of destroying the attitude and image of holiness. No wonder God strictly prohibited the priests to do these kinds of things. First, God wants their hair, their beards, and their skin of the priest to always be intact. And without any damages. In order to testify their holiness. Second, it is to prevent the pagan customs and traditions from entering among God's own people. Therefore, God not only reminded them that since they are the leaders of the people, that they must be a good example for the people so that the people will regard them. And also, God told them, and since the sacrifices were offered by their own hands. Therefore, as the one who offers, they must be holy and not sacrifice with their hands. Said that the priest in their sacred marriage should maintain diligence and should be very careful. Since the service of the priest is holy, of course they needed a holy wife to help them. Therefore they could only marry a virgin as their wife. If the woman are, uh, is a prostitute, a defiled, or divorced, they could not marry them. And they should not have any inappropriate sexual relationships with them. Because this priesthood belongs to God as holy. And God also sanctified them for the purpose of serving Jehovah who made them. The priests must also take note of the, their testimonies in their own families. God not only wants the priests to maintain holiness, they also want their families, the families of the priests to maintain holiness. 
，因为伊伫家庭中会教育，真侪有用教会为用的无用。Because their teachings and cultivating of the family will be examples for the members of the church. 所以这是必须好好的教导伊的囝儿，建立好伊大地咯。Therefore, the priest must teach your children well so that they would not fall. In the Leviticus chapter 21, verse 9, it said, This is how we can teach him what to do, what he can do, what he can do, and how he can do it. 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 If a priest's daughter defiles herself by becoming a prostitute, she disgraces her father. She must be burned in the fire. This is how we can avoid, 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 avoid the danger of it. If the daughter of a priest has an immoral characteristics, but that poor young girl can be, not only will she disgrace herself, but she will be burned in the fire. At the same time, she will be burned in the fire. At the same time. Disgraces her father and make her father unholy. So her punishment is that she would be burned to death. In talk, he just a few young, yeah, the ah church here, who did a tie with a boy in a yeah, the Sara, the Jam. The former prime minister Winston Churchill has a bad daughter named Sara. He got moved in ah a million to San Diego. After her husband committed suicide by overdosing in sleeping pills, he then died. Not a bit too long. But when he came back, he died on the field. She wandered around doing bad things by herself and often gets drunk with wine. But she did get him too. Three, three, that's it. Let's go. One day after getting drunk and was riding a taxi going home. But then he came in to say, "What the man?" Not only did she refuse to pay the fare, she even cursed the driver and quarreled with him. As a result, she was brought to the police station. When the police asked her who she was, she was boastfully answered. You should apologize to me. It was his usual. Because I am Sarah, the daughter of Prime Minister Winston Churchill. He didn't get it. Don't you? Churchill is called me. I try to kill him. Boy, oh, he. She thought that because she had name dropped the name, the surname Churchill, that people would admire her. But the next day, when the newspaper came out, he was called the Prime Minister. But the next day, when the newspaper came out, the next day, when the newspaper came out, the next day, when the newspaper came out, What were the reactions of the readers? They all felt that the daughter's bad actions greatly affected her father's good name. Third, the priest must also be holy in their appearances. Their appearances must be kept neat and tidy. How can the two of you hang? Ah, how can they hang? Come on. They should put oil on their heads, and their hair must not be messy. But the changing sa yung hang kaya ni sa ko. They must wear holy garments and must not tear their clothes. Hindi hindi na si Suong tisya ni Yawa. Because since they are serving the most holy Jehovah, that is, if one put them to the city table, if they would dress up indecently, they would be inappropriate as a priest. And she, four. This is the same thing. Holy, that the same thing. Um, hang, what? The priest must also be holy physically and must absolutely have no defects. Don't they kill anyone who not be here? Me holy. Since God commanded that when offering sacrifices to Him, it ah uh, again the one to one way to walk me as if was you. It must be complete and without sicknesses or defects. Oh, how many people have been here today? Oh, yeah, like a young few, young people can be young, give up. And to the one who would offer the sacrifices, shouldn't it be more demanded of Him? Then ah, now was you, but when I'm tongue tied, you are one to one, you get. Those people, 
defects couldn't represent holiness. Because it ruins the beauty that God originally created. Only those who have a healthy body and without any defects. And those energetic, talented people could serve in God's presence. Today, since the Holy God separated us out of this world, and made us belong to Him only and not to this world, and we became a royal priesthood. The purpose is for us to serve Him. We of course also must be holy. We should not be defiled with the filth of the world. Our lives and behavior should also be completely isolated from evil. But what must we do in order to maintain holiness? First, it is to fully rely on the grace of God. Because the reason why we are saved is entirely through the grace of God. After we are saved, we can be sanctified. Of course, it is because of God's grace as well. I believe among many among you would have known the comic book superhero named the Incredible Hulk. He was a physicist in the story. One day as he was experimenting inside his laboratory, he encountered an accident. He was exposed to a lot of gamma radiation that changed his body and he became a monster. On ordinary times, he is but an ordinary person. But every time he gets angry, he gets scared or anxious. He would quickly turn into a very strong and ferocious green giant. In fact, every one of us are just like him, very changeable. On ordinary times, we look like normal people. But every time we get angry, get scared, or get anxious, we couldn't control ourselves and we commit sin. The 7th century, 17th century French physicist Blaise Pascal said, if we say man is not so great and we often say that he is like an animal, it is very dangerous. And if we say that man is not an animal and we often say that he is great, it is likewise dangerous. The best way is to let man know that he has a great side and he has an animal side. It is undeniable that as humans we really have a good side and an evil side. After we believe the Lord and have been saved, although our words and deeds are beginning to change, but we still have witnesses and we could still fall into sin. 
Sometimes we turn into a good person. And sometimes we turn into a sinful person. So what must we do in order to maintain holiness? The Apostle Paul has also experienced such struggle. The other in Romans 7.24, he shouted in agony, saying, What is it called? What a wretch man I am who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death. Yes, every time we sin. Our hearts will often be very regretful and in pain like this. But thank God, Paul found the answer. Because he said in Romans 7, 25a, Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, if you want to be victorious in the war to become holy, we must completely rely on the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second, if we are determined to glorify God, we should maintain holiness in our lives. Because since God has redeemed us, called us, and gave us new life. That we could have a new heart and new spirit, it is to be able to glorify His holy name. Isaiah 43, 7 said, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Also in Isaiah 44, 23b said, for the Lord has redeemed Jacob, he displays his glory in Israel. One day the famous British General Wellington who won against Napoleon. He wanted to buy the piece of land next to his home. Therefore, he sent his manager to negotiate with the landlord. When the manager came back, he gladly told General Wellington, the, We have already brought the piece of land. And so General Wellington asked for how much. The manager replied. The landowner initially wanted to sell it for 1,100 British pounds. But I knew that the landowner was experiencing financial difficulties and needed money so bad. So I offered him 800 British pounds. And so he cheaply sold it to me. And General Wellington heard this, he got angry and told his manager. You sold my reputation for just 300 British pounds. Because not only was this a deceitful act, this is also an unholy behavior. After saying he took a pen and wrote a check amounting to 300 British pounds and told the manager to add it to the payment. 
But if no chance to appeal, sounds like it's like on 1 Corinthians 10, 31 said. So he didn't have to have to be in Golden Church, he made all the way with this, and he also came to that camp. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So anyway, this is the doctor. So every Christian as priest, he learned this young son, what do you mean? Go to church and we don't go to church and get. And whatever we do in our daily lives, we must maintain holiness. Because we will choose who will learn to get the name of the name of the name of the name of the name. That we will not betray our own reputations and shame the name of the Lord. Third, it is to clearly understand all the truths and teachings of the Bible. Sometimes the reason why we do not maintain holiness. It is because we do not really understand the truths and the teachings of the Bible. That we blindly follow those wrong traditions and false doctrines. I think we need to end it. Ah, how do you would you can do the one? Long time ago, there was a monastery in Europe. The part that we should do is to be the one who will be the one who will be the one. Every time the monks would have their devotion, prayer. And reading the Bible, our God now from John and the Gal Tai or in Dong Wei Guan Jin. There was a cat that often came to disturb them, and they couldn't concentrate. As I said, in the beginning, the part of John's God now began to eat out of the window. At that time, the angel now had to bang him down. Therefore, the head monk would tie this cat onto a post and then release it after the, their devotion. The way God did it, the cat. Unexpectedly, as days pass, the few doors in the new building soon get now packed with cat tail and window. Can you understand the meaning of the tradition? The cat being tied to a post during their devotion became their tradition. In the in the way, in the early days, in the new building, they are changing, they are changing. Because they misunderstood that if they do this, they it is for them to be solemn and holy in their devotion. And so it's just now that Siki in the get the other one just now that get away. And so every time the cat dies, they would catch another cat and tie it to the post again. When he, when I, I when he just in in that time just now, but he tell I didn't just I when he just me. The reason is because they do not know the real reason why a cat was tied to a post. As you so if you go go. And therefore, they foolishly follow this tradition generation after generation. There was a man who got married recently. He noticed that every time his wife would fry fish, she would cut the fish head off first, and this made him curious. Because his favorite part to eat was the fish head. And so he just be mad at the new man. So he just got a bit of a problem. He just got a bit of a problem. And so he he asked his wife as to why he needed to cut off the fish head before cooking it. And so he just got a bit of a problem. And so his wife answered him saying, "Hey, why my mom cut off the fish head? He just got a bit of a problem." Because every time my mother would fry fish, she would also cut off the fish head. And then we would be able to get to get up more yet again to part and give them yet more. And because this man wanted to have a satisfactory answer, she called up. He called up his mother-in-law and asked her. Is it me? The part you on the ten years the long more than the hour? Why is it that she doesn't? Fry the fish together with the fish head every time. I think I'm going to go in the water. Mama, the ten years is not as young as you are. It's not as old as you are. His mother-in-law answered, because my mother also cuts off the fish head before frying it. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to give my dear mama. So he asked his mother-in-law to ask her mother. I think I'm going to give my mama to wake up. The mother of the mother-in-law answered. He doesn't see. 
本地来一件，我想得水。那边做的，就叫你老板叫老板叫老板叫你。Because our frying pan before was too small, that we needed to cut the fish head first in order to fit the fish into the frying pan. 啊，当你在亚瓦尼了啊，并不哥在忙中了。After knowing the reason, they never, never blindly followed it again. So they decided whether to fry the fish or to fry the fish. So they decided whether to fry the fish with or without the fish head. Okay, so in this case, the first thing is very important. Evidently, knowing and understanding is very important. Because if you know and understand, then you can choose. Because if you know and understand, therefore we can choose. But if we don't know and don't understand it, we could not choose. Before we believe in Christ, we have a lot of thoughts, words, and deeds from our old self. But after believing in Christ and have been saved, through the teachings of God's Word. It made us realize that since we are released from the jurisdiction of evil and no longer controlled by it, we must remove everything that displeases God and no longer fall into sin. And do according to what God wants us to do, so that we could be holy, just as Christ was. Colossians two thirteen chapter so go ahead. First Corinthians, Colossians three ten said. 请求新郎，这新郎的地下灵灵，将将更新，将新旧做一个主的灵。And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge, in the image.